Um, I've got this one here for you, Dr. Rand. This is from Chrysia, I think it says. She says, I'm 28 years old, who, uh, who was diagnosed with an underactive thyroid at the age of 15. I am an active woman, but since being diagnosed, I've gone from a size 12 to a size 32. No matter what diet I follow or how much I exercise, I still can't shift the weight. I'm becoming more and more depressed. What can I do? So we had a chat with Chrysia early, actually, just to get a bit more of a story. And there's lots going on sort of medically. She's got this diagnosis of underactive thyroid. And the thyroid gland is a gland that sits in your neck, produces a hormone called thyroxine, and that regulates your metabolism. So if the level of the hormone is low, your metabolism tends to be low, and you get symptoms like feeling tired all the time, putting on weight. You can really affect your mood, too. So the first thing you've got to do is go to your doctor and get your thyroxine sorted out. So replace that hormone that you, you've got. Yeah. Not got. And essentially make sure that you've got enough of that. So some people who are on replacement need to go back regularly for monitoring. And actually, if your hormone levels aren't quite in range, they might just push your medication up ever so slightly. So you've got that side of things. The other thing that we established with Krisha earlier was that actually her weight, her BMI, which is a, gives you a rough guide of where you fall in the sort of mm. healthy weight, overweight, underweight categories. It's not... It's not perfect, but it gives you a rough glide. She falls into the very overweight, sort of morbidly obese category, so it kind of, her BMI is 58, and because of that, she may qualify for bariatric surgery. She's tried lots of other things. She's done the general healthy eating. She's done the get more active. She's been to a GP to get her thyroid sorted out. She now maybe needs to consider something like weight loss surgery, which for some people was one, really effective, and two, can prevent long-term complications. Okay. So it's something to look into. Right. All right.